Is the Alcatel Insight a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my Alcatel Insight review. Now this device is exclusive to Cricut Wireless, and you can actually get it for a very good deal at the moment. So currently, you can actually get this phone for free at Cricut if you port in from another carrier. So for example, if you are a Boost Mobile customer right now, and you want to become a Cricut Wireless customer, and you transfer in your number, then you will be able to get this phone for free with a port in. Now if you do want to create a new line with the phone, you can actually get the phone for $10. So literally just $10 with a new line. That's rarely seen. I mean, usually you have to spend at least 50 to maybe $70 for a phone of any type if you're creating a new line. But with the Alcatel Insight, you can actually get it for only $9.99 with the new line. So a great deal there. Now the phone features a five inch display at 480p with a 160 PPI and an 18 by nine aspect ratio. So definitely not the highest display resolution here at just 480p. However, the display is a little bit on the smaller side at five inches. So the PPI of 160 isn't terrible, but of course it's nowhere near what you'd get with a 1080p display, for example. But still, it's not too bad, definitely usable, and you'll have no problem reading text on here and going on social media and reading articles and even books on your phone, whatever you want to do, whatever you use your display for, it's going to be fine with 480p at this size. Now, since the display is 18 by 9, it means that it's a little bit slimmer but taller, and that makes it very well optimized for most of the things that people use their phones for nowadays. You know, if you're going on the web and you're scrolling, having a taller display makes it better for you. Now the phone does have some bezels on the top and bottom, so it's certainly not a great screen to body ratio here. But still overall, I think the phone has a pretty good look and feel. The design isn't too bad, and for $10, you can't expect too much. Now up top here, we have a two megapixel front facing camera. And later on in the video, I will be showing you some photo and video samples from both cameras. The phone features 16 gigs of internal storage with SD card expansion. So 16 gigs is not a ton of storage, but again, at just $10 for this phone, that's pretty much what I'd expect. I and mean, I'm glad that it's no less than that. There is no wireless charging at the Alcatel Insight. There's also no fingerprint sensor. And on the back side of the phone, we have a single camera here at five megapixels. Now the device features two gigabytes of RAM and runs the MediaTek MT6739 processor. So a pretty low end processor from MediaTek, but it is nice to see that we're at least getting two gigs of RAM, especially since this phone actually runs Android 9 Go Edition. So Android Go Edition typically is paired with just one gigabyte of RAM. So seeing that they are pairing this with two gigs of RAM definitely is a step in the right direction. And I think that really makes the Go Edition shine here, giving you the best performance possible with it. So overall, like performance hasn't been too bad. I'll show you how browsing the web works in a little bit. I did do an Antutu benchmark test and definitely got one of the lowest scores that I've ever gotten when doing this test on a smartphone. So I got an overall score of 53039, so pretty low there, and a CPU score of 23186. Nowhere near the kind of performance that you'd be getting with a flagship phone, which usually goes up in the 400,000 range with the overall score. But again, this is a $10 phone, so you cannot ask for too much, that's for sure. Now the device features a 2,200 milliamp hour removable battery, so it does indeed have a removable battery I'll be showing that to you in a second here. The phone also does not have NFC, so you'll have to try to survive without that. Now that we've gone over the specifications of the Alcatel Insight, let's take a closer look at the hardware. So I already talked a lot about the front of the phone here, as we're getting a 5 inch 480p display with a 160 ppi and an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. We have pretty big bezels on the top and bottom. We have the front facing camera and earpiece here at the top. Now take a look at the left side of the phone, we have nothing. 
Then on the right side of the phone, we have the power button and volume button. Then on the top of the phone, we have the noise canceling microphone and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then on the bottom of the phone, we have the microphone and we have the micro USB port for charging and data transfer. Then on the back side of the phone, we have the Alcatel logo, we have the camera, we have the flash, and we have the speaker. Now it is very easy to remove the back of this phone, but that's a good thing because with some phones, it can be really difficult to do that sometimes. So I'll remove this back right now and I'll show you what all we get. So we have of course the battery itself. So again, it is a removable battery, clearly. So technically you could own multiple batteries and switch them out throughout the day to, get, to make your phone last even longer. Right here is the micro SD card slot and then here is the slot for the SIM card, which I have my Cricut SIM installed into the phone. But it is very easy to remove and put back on this backing on the device. So that's a great thing. I really do like this sandstone finish here too on the back of the phone. It doesn't pick up any fingerprints at all, which I'm a big fan of. So like I showed you a second ago, I installed my Cricut SIM card into the phone and I'm gonna do a speed test right now to see what kind of speeds that we'll get with Cricut on this device. Now I do have a tower very close to me, so I should be getting pretty good coverage. You can see up in the corner here, I do have full bars. And it looks like at the moment, I'm getting a download speed of around eight megabits per second, kind of in the high sevens. And it looks like a final score of 7.95. So pretty standard from Cricut. And then we're doing the upload right now. Looks like the upload is around the mid sevens as well. It looks like the upload is 7.154. Of course, this will change throughout the day based on how many people are using the network and other factors too. Now the phone does not have five gigahertz Wi-Fi. It only has 2.4, so keep that in mind. Now I'm also gonna do a speed test here with the Wi-Fi. Now typically I get around 150 megabits per second, and it looks like I'm pretty much maxing out here at around 40 megabits per second for the download. And that's definitely got to be a limitation with using the 2.4 gigahertz. So you likely will not get as fast of Wi-Fi speeds with your Alcatel Insight as you would with your computer, for example. So another thing to keep in mind, but definitely with these speeds, I would be able to survive with no issues at all with the phone. So it's definitely not a deal breaker. The phone does a pretty good job with browsing the web. Again, even though this is just 480p, the text is very readable here. The display does get nice and bright too. That's another impressive thing about the display. So I am happy that web browsing is at least usable here on the device, despite this device being so cheap. Of course, the experience here with browsing the web definitely will not be as good as it would be with a flagship phone, but you can literally buy 100 of these for the price of one iPhone 11 Pro. So that's a pretty dramatic difference in price. The photo quality from the phone is definitely nothing that's too impressive, but it does still work. The photos will at least be decently usable so that you can still post them to social media, but certainly you're not gonna get any photography awards with the cameras on this device. The front camera is especially pretty washed out, but I would say overall, the results that I get with the cameras from this phone are a lot better than what I expected when I first saw the price of it. Now let's go over to some video samples from the Alcatel Insight. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video from the Alcatel Insight. Really interested to know what you think of the quality from this device, including the microphone quality. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But I drove up to the top floor of this parking garage to get some good views from up here. But yeah, let me know what you think of the quality. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video sample from the front-facing camera on the Alcatel Insight. Let me know what you think of the quality. This phone is being offered for $10 with a new line at Cricut, so I wouldn't have too high of expectations for the camera quality. So keep that in mind, but let me know what you think. So is the Alcatel Insight a good phone to buy? Well, you can definitely tell from the price of the phone that it's a entry-level device 
Definitely not meant for a high-end user or someone who's a power user. But if you generally just use your phone for calls and the occasional text message, then this will definitely get the job done. But if you are using social media constantly and taking pictures all the time, then you might want to look for something a little more sophisticated than this. But for what it is and for what the price is of the phone, it definitely over delivers because you really can't expect too much for just $9.99. But I'm really interested to know what you think about the Alcatel Insight. I would like to thank Alcatel for being kind enough to send this phone out to me in exchange for my unbiased review. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up, check out my other Alcatel Insight videos on my channel, and Cricut Wireless videos too, and I will see you in the next video.